All right. Today I'm going to um, ask a question to you in the audience. If you think that Christianity is best defined as monotheistic or henotheistic, I'm not debating uh, what religion is right or wrong, or this is not an attack on Christianity. It's merely a question of what we think um, these definitions would, would best apply to Christianity. So now, most of you are familiar with the um, discussion of polytheism and uh, monotheism. Polytheism is when there's a belief in many gods, like as someone who worships many gods. And monotheism would be to only believe in one god. So Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are kind of seen as the three great monotheistic faiths that only believe in one god. And even though Christianity has the belief in the Trinity, which can be a little bit complex for that, ultimately Christians have traditionally claimed to believe in only one god. So monotheism usually applies uh, um, you know, the word that we would give to those three. Now, there, there was a, um, an academic who came up with the concept of henotheism. The idea that somebody could believe in uh, the other gods exist, but they only worship one god. Okay, and so in that case, you have like uh, other religions, like Zoroastrianism, where Uhura Mazda would be like the main true god, but it doesn't deny, doesn't deny the existence of other gods so other divinities, okay, but there's just the one main one. Now, I want you to know something in the New Testament, and I'll tell you why I was curious about this. So if you look at John chapter 10, and I'll start with 31, okay, and I'm using the New International Version, and it says, uh, again the Jews picked up stones to stone him, referring to Jesus, and Jews here is talking about basically people, the Jewish religious belief, which also Jesus was a part of. Um, it says, But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? So here's the question. And they reply, We are not stoning you for any of these, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus answered them, this is verse 34, <coughs> excuse me, Is it not written in your law, capital L, A, W, uh, uh, capital L, and then A, W, Torah, Namus, law, okay? I have said you are gods, plural. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said I am God's son? Now Jesus is referring to Psalms chapter 82. And that's in the Old Testament, right? And Psalms chapter 82 says, God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the Elohim, in Hebrew, gods. And this is apparently referring to the judges of Israel being called gods. If you look in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, okay, it says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. It uses the word, uh, a definite article, the theos in Greek. God, Satan is called the God of this age or of this world. So here Jesus mentions that the judges of uh, the, 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 the men of Israel, that God referred to them as Elohim, as gods. And Satan, in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, is called the god of this age. And in the original Greek, it's, it's using the word theos, okay? So it's not just a translation issue. So... That appears that in Christianity there is a belief in other gods, but the ultimate almighty God would then be the Father, uh, um, or, or some might say God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, depending on um, how you, if you believe in the Trinity or not um, in Christianity. So again, I'm, I'm just posing this question to the audience that if we take the concept of henotheism, the idea that belief in one main God without denying the existence of others, or belief in only one God for monotheism, do you think henotheism fits better 
or monotheism. And if you find this kind of debate troubling, maybe you can respond why. But I'd like to really stick to the topic. I don't want to have to go off, and this is not a time to bash anybody. This is just a discussion of these terms in application to the context of what we just read. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to any feedback that I hear from the audience in a respectable uh, manner. And um, have a good, um, anyways, yeah, you feel me. <laughs>